Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Trek Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. Behind me is a really cool, really well optioned three horse Cimarron. This is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. This one has a lot of stuff on it, so we're going to walk you through uh, some of the standard options, standard features that you're going to get with a Cimarron, but then we're going to show you a lot of these extras that we put on this trailer. So, again, stick with us. Let's take a look at the drawing before we jump into the actual trailer and walk you through it. Uh, so again, this one's a three horse. This one's going to have a front dressing room with a closet tack. We have a five foot short wall there. We're 19 three on the floor. So a very manageable trailer as far as maneuvering, getting in and out of places. This one we went a little bit taller, a little bit wider. We went seven four tall and seven six wide. So if you have maybe some bigger horses wanting that extra height, that extra little bit of width, we have that in this, this setup. So again, very, very well equipped trailer. Uh, with a Cimarron, you're getting that all aluminum construction. We'll walk you through and show you some of the, uh, how it's actually built, the features of that, what kind of separates Cimarron from the rest of the competitors out there on the market. You're gonna have an eight year structure warranty and a three year hardware warranty as well. We'll talk about a wheel and tire warranty when we get to that part of it as, as well in this trailer. But very first thing, underneath this gooseneck, with the way that this trailer is optioned up, we feel like uh, originally when we were building this trailer, we were doing it with a manual crank jack, and then it just kind of seemed that we kept upgrading those customers into a hydraulic jack before they came to pick the trailer up. So we just said, let's just go ahead and do it. Absolutely, it makes sense. So underneath here, we have a single leg. It is the equalizer electric over hydraulic jack. It's fantastic. You push a button and up, down it goes. Granted, this isn't a big trailer, but you do have a lot of storage on this. And let's be honest, it's a lot easier, more convenient to push a button up and down it goes. But this does have a manual override. So if we do have a battery issue, you know, a battery that's gone dead, uh, we can get it up off the truck or onto the truck, vice versa. As you are driving, your truck will work as a trickle charger to the battery. That's gonna be located in this battery box here. So you're gonna have a single battery. The other thing that started on the 22 models, you're gonna have a battery disconnect. That is standard on all these Cimarron's now with this hydraulic jack. And that is really important too, because when we park this trailer, uh, I'll show you, it's got a lot of lights on it. Something can get bumped, something can get left on. And what we don't want is we don't want it to drain this battery again when operating that. So when we park this trailer and walk away from it, we can reach up here, turn it to the off position. It kills all power to this trailer. So we're not draining that battery. This is also a box that Cimarron has built. They're starting to do this. If we have these, you know, kind of smaller boxes, they're actually using the same hardware as far as the latch for this uh, battery box that they use on the doors. So you have the exact same key for all tack doors and then this as well. Uh, the, the standard aluminum boxes have a different key so you have one more kind of thrown in the mix there. We like to keep things simple, one key for the trailer if possible. Now granted you're gonna have a key here and a key for your jack. So you will have a little bit of that. Now, since this trailer is seven six wide, you will notice that the spare is kind of located a little bit lower. Um, you will start to notice on our 610 wide, that's standard width Cimarron's, this spare is going to be mounted up a little bit higher. And the reason why is because if somebody wants to add a hydraulic jack, it just takes up a little bit more room than the standard manual. So we always have to relocate this if you are looking to upgrade. So we've just decided, hey, let's move that up, get it out of the way and add those on there. But on this one here, you're already set up and ready to go as far as that's concerned. Now on this trailer, we optioned it with the wraparound nose. That's where you get this capping on the bottom here. It's a, it is a sleek look to the trailer. Um, there's a VP nose that is more of a 90 degrees. You're not gonna have this big capping on the bottom that you're gonna have on the wraparound nose. Now, what's really important when we're looking at this area right here is on these newer trucks. You know, Fords and Dodges over the last few years have had taller uh, truck beds, and that's been an issue. GM came out with their new body style, their truck beds have gotten taller. So from ground level to the top of a bed, I believe on those new GMs, it's either two or two and a half inches taller. I mean, it is substantial. So what we always have had to deal with 
is bed clearance and making sure trailers run level. Now you've got two axles. We want equal weight distribution. We don't want it running on one axle, especially if it's nosed up run on the back axle. So on older trailers, you know, typically in the early 2000s, 47 inches was the standard gooseneck drop wall height. Well, then all the manufacturers went up in height about, you know, 2005, somewhere right in there. So they changed the standard to 50 inches. Well, we've kept 50 for the last 15 years or so. Well, what we do is we take this a case by case basis, but for the most part, these using Cimarron's like this, stock combos, three, four horse goosenecks, we've gone in and made this gooseneck drop wall 53. And the reason why is now we've gained three inches of uh, bed clearance so we can adjust our coupler, we can make sure the trailer's running level, we can hit all those things. If you notice newer trucks and older trailers, it's either running level with minimal bed clearance or it's nosed way up running on the back axle so they have bed clearance. Well, who wants to replace a bed on one of these new $85,000 trucks? You don't want to. So we've gone in now and made these 53 inch gooseneck drop walls. Again, we take it a case by case basis. This was air ride, had 17 five inch wheels, 19 five wheels, something like that. We're actually gonna pick the box up. We'll probably keep it at 50. You do get that extra three inches in that gooseneck. Now with this one being said, we've already made this trailer taller. So it doesn't affect the actual gooseneck size and far, as far as height in this trailer compared to what it would normally be. This one's white sheeted. That one is, that is standard. Uh, you can go to silver metallic, charcoal metallic, champagne, black. Those are up charges uh, compared to standard white. This one's a mill finish as far as the extrusion. You can go polish. There's an upcharge there. Uh, it takes a little bit more maintenance as far as the polished extrusion trailers, but we can help you out with that. Now, this is what makes this trailer so cool is all these extras now that we're really getting into. I mean, we already have the hydraulic jack, that VP nose, extra tall, extra wide. But now, right here we're looking at is a closet tack room. So the closet tacks have become so popular because it really doesn't add a lot of link to these trailers. It keeps this area nice and clean and also your front dressing room that we'll get to when we get to the other side of this trailer. But we have a five foot short wall on the other side uh, with a four foot offset. So on this long wall, on this passenger side, we're nine foot from stall area forward to the gooseneck uh, drop wall. But in here, very well equipped. We have three saddle pads. That is a recessed post. These are all adjustable. So if you want to spread these out, lower them, add more, you can. It's very easy to do. We carpet the entire tack room, also the door. That way we don't have anything rubbing, especially, you know, your, your bits rubbing against an aluminum sheet. We want to keep everything nice and, and protected, but also it helps deaden a lot of the noise. So as you're driving, things move, so that could create noise. Well, now we have horses on this backside of this wall. It's not going to affect them like it normally would if it was aluminum sheeted. In this back corner here, you have a corner water tank. Again, that's kind of wasted space, so let's put a water tank there. That way you've got 25 gallons, it's all gravity feed. 25 gallons of water that you can take from home. Um, if you have that horse that only prefers water from home, there you have that on board on this trailer. Maybe you get somewhere in your park clear at the back of the parking lot, half mile away from the nearest hydrant. Well, who wants to pack buckets that far? Again, you've got water right here. A lot of hooks in there. On the door, you're gonna have a four tier blanket pole rack. It's on a gas shock. Brush tray on the door for some smaller miscellaneous items. And then you're also gonna have this fold up step. You know, think about where those saddle pads are so you can actually, instead of going flat footed from the ground, trying to pull them, now we can step up. You can actually step into this. Uh, you also have a lot of, fl of floor space. The way that this is spaced right now, I mean, you can throw a lot of items on the actual floor of this tack room. And again, keeping your uh, front dressing room nice and clean. Now on this one here, we opted instead of bus windows. Cimarron does a great job on giving us big bus windows, as large as we possibly can. But keep in mind, one thing with bus windows are only half of it opens. So on this one here, we opted for the drops on tail side at all three stalls. 
Uh, again, this is just a such a well-equipped trailer. Um, you can get a lot of airflow throughout that stall, keeping horses nice and cool. On this one here, we talked a little bit about a, a wheel and tire warranty. Lion's Head is the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires. So what we're looking at here is nitrogen filled balanced tires, but you're also gonna get a one year, no questions asked warranty on these tires. So if you catch a nail, if you catch road debris, if you have a blowout and it's in that first year, they will replace this tire for free. You also have two years of roadside assistance. So you see the green tabs on the valves. That means these are nitrogen filled that means PSI levels aren't going to fluctuate as drastically compared to air. They use them on airplanes. Think about temperature differences and altitude differences, what they're having to deal with. They go with nitrogen filled, so it keeps PSI, PSI levels nice and, and even and how we want them to be. It'll fluctuate maybe a couple pounds is all to where air can have a lot of uh, flexibility as far as what they can change. Now, here we are at the back of this trailer. So again, seven six wide seven four tall now again we've got a lot of storage on this that i'll show you when we get to driver's side so on this one here we have a big single door to open this trailer up you know real inviting for horses coming in and off of this trailer if you have a horse that prefers a ramp or you just prefer a ramp or you want to haul something else in this trailer as well we can remove the rubber bumper add that to it there's a lot of add-ons we can do after the fact through our parts and service department we can put a hay rack on this trailer very easily. Again, a lot of different things, camera systems, fans, about anything you want there. Now, when we get in the stall area, we have solid dividers, they're padded. This back stall is actually extended a little bit for multiple reasons. One, the broom closet that I'll show you, but also we wanna keep, if possible, dividers solid. Now, there are case-by-case -case bases where you have to maybe do a telescoping divider. Uh, we understand that. But in this instance here, we wanted this to remain solid. So we actually extended this back stall a little bit to make it a little bit bigger so we have these solid dividers. You have a stud divider at number one. I'll show you, it's got an escape door on it as well. So maybe you wanna use this stall for some extra storage. Hay, bedding, maybe a cooler, muck buckets, whatever you want. We don't have to worry about items shifting, getting underneath horses in transit uh, because of that stud divider. Or if you're hauling three head and you got somebody that needs to kind of be separated from everyone else, you can definitely utilize it as far as that's concerned. Now, what we're standing on is the, the best floor in today's market. So these are all aluminum trailers. This is a 12 inch extruded deck piece that Cimarron builds. The centers on this are every four inches. There's a V truss in the middle that even adds more strength to it. But by having four inch centers, the easiest way I can explain it to you and you can visualize is it, is imagine hoof size of a horse on this floor, wherever they're standing, anywhere in here, they're gonna stand on a support beam. So what we have is, and in my opinion, the easiest way to tell about quality uh, make of a trailer is we'll just crawl underneath and look at the floor. Centers will spread farther apart on lower price point trailers, you'll get over time, those pits or waves in those, that's where urine can collect, start to corrode. Uh, again, having this nice solid floor. Look, every single aluminum trailer out there, you need to take care of it and maintain it. That means pulling these mats, power washing it out, letting it dry. We actually recommend sprinkling some baking soda down. That way it'll counteract the acidity of the urine and then putting your, your mats back in there. So again, industry's best floor right here. We also have this insulated roof. This insulated roof, because of these drop windows here, because of the drop windows on the front side, we can create a lot of airflow. And we can create a lot of airflow keeping horses nice and cool. That's really important. I mean, I try to put it in perspective of this. Think about on a real hot day when it's 95, 100 degrees, no air movement. Things are miserable. Flies are all over you. You get that little bit of breeze, kicks up, and life just is better. It keeps flies off of you. Uh, with it being a little bit of breeze, it cools you off. So it's really important for these type of items, like these drop windows that we have. But that roof is a major component in that, where it'll keep the stall area about 20% cooler compared to aluminum sheeted roofs. Standard, again, it is standard on every single Cimarron. So 
it is also strong and durable. It, it can take 150 pounds per square foot on that roof. It, on that roof, it's a half inch thick. It's a honeycomb design, R3 thermal value. So again, real stout, really from the standpoint of just keeping this nice and cool, definitely has a lot of benefits there. The other thing that Cimarron does is when you get into these stall areas, when you put your hands on things, dividers over here at these drops, everything has a radius to it. So nothing sharp, nothing 90 degrees, nothing protruding out. We want everything to be safe for the horses. Over here on the kick wall, I mean, we have a recessed paddle latch. Again, everything has a radius, even this cast aluminum piece that's powder coated for the actual latches itself. This is a heavy UHMW paddle latch. So again, we don't have metal to metal contact when we shut these dividers. So again, kind of like we were talking about in that tack area with the carpet, you know, trying to reduce as much noise as possible in the stall area for horses. Since it is seven six wide, you're gonna have a little bit of wheel well in here on this passenger side. And then we've got mangers on the front side that we'll show you when we get to the outside. But as you can see, they even taper that. You know, they don't leave this as a 90 degrees, they taper it up. Again, trying to keep everything as, as safe as possible for these horses. So we have mangers at stalls two and three. The very first stall is actually gonna have a feed bag as well for you, so that's already in there with the D-rings. You have, since it is a three horse, you're gonna have three two-way roof vents on the ceiling as well manipulate a little bit more airflow for you and then on passenger side up on that top rail you're going to have some led lights so give you a lot of light coverage there's load lights on each side of the trailer at the rear here's an eight inch awning light everything's individually switched so if you just want to turn stall lights on you can if you just want to turn the passenger load light on you can so you can kind of isolate which which lights you want on just not everything has to be lit up so here, again, we were kind of showing you, you could kind of see that little bit of a wall on the back side there of that trailer, why we have that one single door, and that's for this broom closet. A lot of storage. So again, we've got this. It's a taller storage, obviously, since it's in this back corner compared to like mangers. Uh, we got some hooks with some carpet in there for you as well. But boy, you can sure carry a lot of items on this trailer because of these type of tack rooms. You know, that's great for, you know, if you have some forks or anything like that, you want to carry a shovel. Uh, it's a lot taller. You can hang hoses, gets you a lot more room. You can, again, keep that front dressing room a little bit cleaner and also just try to isolate your tack into that closet tack setup. So here we've got the mangers. You get these big, heavy duty doors. These Cimarron doors and drop windows have so much framework. So this is the same on, on the front door, that rear door we looked at, these drop windows, the escape door, broom closet door. From this window to the edge here, that's all framework. That is big, massive. I mean, you feel the weight of these doors when you open and close them. These are items you're gonna do, utilize every time you use this trailer more than likely. So with that being said, we need them to hold up. We don't want prefab doors. We don't want prefab drop windows. You know, welded hinges with grease certs. You have a drip rail over the top of each door opening and drop window. That's actually an extruded piece. It's not a little piece of uh, stripping that they just go ahead and tack on after the fact. No, they do an extrusion. So they have a die strictly for that drip rail uh, on these trailers. Then you have the mangers here for additional storage. Again, you've got, you've got the capability to utilize it in the stall area there, but now if you're hauling some feed, hauling some buckets, again, about anything you want in there. Same thing, real heavy duty doors, solid seals to them. Uh, it, there's, we hear about it time and time again. Some people come on the lot and say, oh yeah, I'd like to look at that trailer, but it's actually locked. Well, it's such a solid seal with the thick weather stripping they use, the actual frame of the window, uh, when, it, when it actually shuts and seals, when that one, I know you can't hear it on the video, but when I shut that back manger door, you could almost hear the air and in that weather stripping getting sucked out of it. So it gets at that solid seal. So again, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, those are, those are locked. Well, usually we just have to put a little pressure on the door and then those will just open right up. 
Now on this first stall, there's that escape door. I mentioned in the, in the stall area there. There's that feed bag. You got a chest bar that goes across there. But again, if you're needing emergency type situations, or again, if it's you're just using it for extra storage, you can access those with still having horses on board. You're also going to end up with a drop window on it as well. It's going to be a little bit smaller than stalls two and three, but that's just because of the framework that we need for the door and then the framework for the window for the actual drop mechanism there. There's a good look at that 16 inch awning light. So again, you have load lights on each side. You got another one on the passenger side, but give you some light coverage. We understand you're gonna be dealing with uh, at times in the dark. So why not have a little bit of that throughout the trailer? Now, the front dressing room here. If you noticed in that drawing, it was kind of an L shape uh, because we have that closet tack on that back side. So this is a five foot short wall. Another one of those steps, just making it real easy getting in and out of these trailers. But when you step in here, a lot of things we got going on. Up in the nose, carpeted on the deck, the drop wall, the floor, the boot box everywhere. Uh, but as you can see, we have a lot of head space still, even though we made the gooseneck drop wall 53 inches. You have windows so you can see out. Uh, LED lights in here as well, but you can create some airflow, kind of a cross breeze throughout this trailer. Over here to the right on the ceiling, you've got a clothes bar up there. You can actually carry quite a bit with that clothes bar there. And then behind me is a shelf with another clothes bar. So again, this is a, uh, this is a very popular trailer for those of you who are you know, showing you need to go to the front dressing room to change. I mean, listen, you could be a weekend warrior and stay in this as well. Um, we've done a couple other things like adding the framing, the bracing for an air conditioner. So down the road, if you ever wanted to do that, it's a small option. It's a low price point option when we're building this trailer. But believe me, it saves a lot of hassle, a lot of money at, down the road if you ever do want to add the air conditioner because all we have to do is cut that out installed air conditioner you're gonna to have to add a you know a 30 amp breaker package to this to power it but you're in business i mean it, it's very minimal uh, again when we're looking at a spec sheet right now on this trailer but again it saves a lot down the road big boot box this is the 18 inch boot box so it's really wide uh, it's great for just throwing smaller items in there so they're not bouncing around you know you're having to fight those on the floor kicking them around and then also it's a great bench also a great step to hop up there in that gooseneck area if you'd like to do that. On the actual, so this, again, this is our closet tack right here, that closet tack wall, that, that room is on the back side of this. But then this is the partition wall, stall one's right on the other side of this. You have some aluminum powder coated hooks there, carpeted on the wall as well. Uh, a lot of people go into these after the fact and add some stuff like an air conditioner, 30 amp breaker package. Maybe they want to add some more storage back here. Uh, you know, maybe do a little outlet where they can put a little refrigerator, something along those lines you can do to these trailers and make them a little bit more, you know, again, maybe weekend warrior type setup where you can go and enjoy the trailer. The steps on a gas shock, so it's really easy to operate up and down folds up into the trailer. But as you can see, if you're looking for a little three horse that's got a ton of options on it, I don't think we could done could have done a whole lot more to this trailer. I say that and we can always do more. So <laughs> um, if you wanted to look at something like this and maybe have air ride on it, or maybe you want a bigger front tack room, we can always build you a trailer. But if this is what you're kind of looking for with, uh, again, a three horse, very easy, very manageable, getting out of places um, with a lot of extras. You know, this is a fantastic trailer. It's been a great seller for us. I'm gonna give you the stock number on it, just for reference. It is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. Stock number is 5N220804. This trailer is available today. Uh, they are not lasting long, so definitely give us a call. We do tra take trade-ins as well. Financing is available, delivery is available. Uh, even if you're looking to downsize from a living quarters into something like this, or you have a bumper pull and you're looking up, up size, whatever you want to do, we can help you out with that. 
So anybody in our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.